My name is Paul Kenny. I'm chair of the Department of Neuroscience here at the Icahn School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Um, the program that's supported by the Blueprint Grant is focused on developing novel antagonists for the Orexin 1 receptor, and we believe that that is a mechanism um, for smoking cessation therapeutics. I had a, a grant, an Oral 1, traditional Oral 1 grant, um, focused on developing new Orexin 1 antagonists. We'd come to the end of that grant, we had a, a series of molecules that I thought looked interesting, I was hoping they would be interesting, and we really wanted to see if we could get them into human to see if they'd work. So what the Blueprint Network did for me was to provide all the pieces that were required to take a, um, a really early stage series of molecules and drive them towards what a drug should look like. So Blueprint were able to identify really outstanding consultants who had tremendous experience, um, were able to provide us with a framework to be able to transition from an academic lab setting into to all intents and purposes look like a, a bona fide drug development campaign. So we have a partnership with AstraZeneca um, that's uh, focused of course in developing our Rex1 receptor antagonists into novel drugs. It's a great complement in terms of the strengths from the, the NIH, what we have in our labs or basic labs, and then the uh, infrastructure and expertise that AZ bring to the table as well. And for this to work, and I hope it will work, I think that these types of partnerships are absolutely essential because ultimately, in my view, the Blueprint helps us to de-risk the program and make it more attractive to a potential partner. But for the partnerships really to work well, I, uh, the handover, I think, has to be at the appropriate time. And so the way that we're driving our program is with AZ as being a natural partner, that they've come on board as opposed to taking over the program. I would actively encourage anyone who has a, a program that may be relevant to new medications development to seriously consider uh, the blueprint. Having gone through this exercise now and seeing really the degree of expertise and the infrastructure that's required to be able to do this, I don't know really how you can do it without these types of grant mechanisms. And it really is just fantastic. And there's this huge gap then in terms of what we do in the lab and what is required to be able to get a molecule to human that without these types of mechanisms, I don't think we can really accomplish.